Because when Jesus calls people to follow him, the first requirement is death. Self-denial. Take up the cross. Why you see in committed two crosses? Amen. The casual love to hear the gospel of how Jesus died on the cross. Amen. To birth his church. But somebody say if you become part of the church he birthed, you'll take up a cross. This gospel message ain't just about his cross. It's what he preached before he went to the cross, from the cross, and after he was raised from the dead, after he died on the cross. And it's still the same. Take up the cross. Well, Brother Marvin, me and Jesus has got our own thing going on. Y'all ever heard anybody say that? In 34 years of ministry, I've heard that more times I can count. The Bible said in 2 Timothy 3 and 2, they love themselves rather than God. Philippians 2, 21, the Bible said all men seek their own and not the things that be of Jesus Christ. That was us before we got saved. Jesus said, if you save your life, you lose it. But if you lose it for my name's sake, you find it. Luke 9, 24. There ain't no me and Jesus when I'm committed to him. There's only his. People who talk like their union with Jesus, come here, Brother Shannon, I'm going to use you. I'm going to abuse you. This is how their, their uh, confused Christianity that the old serpent presents to them, which is a false gospel. Getting saved or coming to Jesus, it, it, it's like, Jesus, I'm over here in the darkness. I want you to just come live in the darkness with me. Don't require me to die to this lifestyle the way I live. Jesus, you just come on over here in the darkness with me and when I need you, you know, I'll always acknowledge you. I'll need you. Be, do this for me, you know, and, and, and we'll be just best buds. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Jesus didn't come to die on the cross to be your best bud. He come to be your Lord. And he said, if I'm your Lord, why call me Lord if you don't do what I command you? Luke 6, 46. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Psalms 107 and 14 said he brought them out of darkness, out of the shadow of death, and break their chains asunder. That's Psalms 107 and 14. Somebody say, the chain's breaking. That's conversion. That means we've been saved. He breaks the chains. But somebody say, he's not coming to the darkness to live with you. Come on in here, Jesus. He'll walk in the darkness. Then he'll point at me and he'll say, leave it. And then he'll turn his back to me in the darkness and he'll start walking. Do that. But here's what a lot of folks over here in this satanic gospel, it's a false gospel. It's a graven image of the gospel of Christ. As Exodus 20 verse 2 call, or 3 calls the, or 4, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Don't make a graven image of God and they make a graven image of the gospel. Because they want a Jesus, come on Jesus. They want a Jesus that don't call them out of their darkness, but actually comes and just associates with them. He, he, and just the, the, the dude, the, you know, just the, the big guy, my bud in life and he, oh Lord, he's the light of the world, but Lord, I, I, you know I can't give up all this. I, you just come over here with me. But friend, that sounds like Jesus is following me, not me following Jesus. And this is why people can confess with their mouth, oh, me and Jesus got our own thing going on. Me and Jesus is tied together. No, 2 Corinthians 11 and 3, Paul said that's another gospel preached by another spirit, and it's another Jesus, and it's the same old serpent that beguiled Eve in the garden and made a false image of who God was. They ain't following this Jesus because the Jesus that went to the cross not only said I went to the cross when you come to him he's going to say take up the cross Shannon take up the cross Marvin leave the darkness follow me because he's the light of the world and if any man comes after him he'll not live he'll not walk in the darkness but in the light of life. They want Jesus to be their buddy. Come on, buddy Jesus. Somebody say, that's the serpent. That ain't really Jesus. Jesus don't come to sit down with you in your darkness. Oh, me and Jesus, best buzz. Weak me and Jesus got something going on. No, you ain't got a thing. You got a fling with a demon. With a false gospel. Because the Jesus that hung on the cross will say, take up the cross. He'll say, I'll lead you out of the darkness. Because that's how you get out of it. Jesus, walk over to Jesus and tell me to follow you. 
Yeah, gee, there you go. That's how you break it down and define it in South Georgia. Hey, Amen. Okay, for no swamp terms. Come on, let's go. Come on, boy. Come on. He leads me out of darkness. That's how he brings me out of the shadow of death. Changes my life. Come on. And that's how he breaks the chains of the bondage off. We got some folks, every time they praise him, they still rattling with chains. Why? Because they ain't accepted the call to come out from among the world, but their excuse is, oh, man, Jesus. It ain't the Jesus that hung on the cross. Because the one that hung on the cross, yeah, he'll come to you in your darkness. I'm going to be Jesus now. He'll come to you in your darkness. But he ain't going to say, Shannon, it's okay. You can just stay right here. I'll, I'll be here with you. If you ever need me, just call, especially if you need a miracle or something, I'll, be, I'll give you the strength. I'll, I'll be here with you. No, he may come here for a moment, but then he's going to say, Shannon, follow me. I'm the light of the world. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Somebody say, the chains start breaking. The life has changed. Brother Danny, that's why we got folks that say they know Jesus. Me and Jesus got our own, our own, our own thing. That's right, it's your own. You've made up a graven image of who you want him to be. That's why you still in sin. That's why you still in darkness. That's why you can't get free. Because they've brought a Jesus that ain't the Jesus of the Bible. They've brought a superficial, amen, graven image, Christianity into their bondage and their gospel lets them stay there with Jesus. But Jesus' gospel says, repent, come out, follow me, follow me. Who do not mean to beat your back off? Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You feel him too. I hear him speaking in tongues. I know he feel him. I'll be back in a minute, y'all, if I run. Anybody understand that one? That's the difference because it makes people different. If your faith in God hadn't changed you, it ain't changed your eternal destination either. There's some people that, I, what I just described, you know them. They'll look you right in the face and say, oh yeah, me and Jesus, we got our, we together, we, we, I talk to him, I love him. They don't never go to church. And when you was in sin doing what you was doing, the neighbors there, would you do it? They didn't go to church then. They still do the same thing. Go to say they ain't no different than they was. The only thing different now, they ain't ashamed to say his name a little bit. And they're deceiving. They think because they read a scripture before they went to sleep. Or because they said, thank you, Jesus. I give God the praise. Oh, come on, somebody. That, that somehow pays God off. Amen. And makes it all right. The devil is a liar. That ain't this gospel. Jesus said, if you come after me, you deny yourself. You take up the cross, and that's how you follow me. I just described commitment to you. Some people have a casual Christ, a casual gospel. It ain't the real one.